Max Proficiency Leland. The Giga Chad of the victims now has even more finesse with his... Huh? Wait, why is his thumb sitting like that? Why is it like that? He can body a full-grown, sweaty, shirtless... Mm, male like Johnny. <laughs> Don't include that one, please. And also disable an OAP all in a day's work. What an icon. Let's jump straight into the build. For my abilities, I am using increased stun duration, restore stamina, and quicker recharge. For my perks, I am using highly skilled for the flat increase to proficiency. Now, relax, I know it's level two, but let's be honest, that thumb will make up for the two less proficiency that we have. <laughs> Why, <is> it... <laughs> Why does it look like that? For my second perk, I have what doesn't kill you, which means after we're injured by a melee attack, if we manage to avoid additional damage for 15 seconds, we will be rewarded 100% of the health we just lost. And our final perk is Empowered, which means whenever we survive a close encounter, we regain 50 health points and 90% of our maximum stamina. Sliding on down to the attributes, I am using 6 into Toughness, 4 into Endurance, and 20 into Proficiency. Lastly, here is my skill tree. If you start navigating to the left, you will reach Highly Skilled, and then go up slightly, you'll reach Empowered just here, and then finish it off right at the top with what doesn't kill you. I do not believe any of these are random perks, so you don't have to be depressed and suffer trying to re-roll one million times in TCM. Well, that is all from me. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the max proficiency at Leland build. Ah, look at that. Bashing it. I miss playing 40 strength or like high strength because you just get out of binding so Boom. quick. Anyway, let's go. We are playing as... Leland, I'm using max proficiency and I'm going to try using max proficiency on the family house, which is probably going to be a very dumb decision, but, 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 uh, you know what? Let's just be loud. Let's be loud, boys. Actually, never mind, never mind. No one else has woken up. I suppose I'll be responsible this time. <laughs> we'll just play a bit stealthily to begin with. The issue is you give them time to sit up, but we're not going to make upstairs before they sit up anyway. Let's grab two lockpicks here. Two of the lockpicks. Oh, the twerk is... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are lovely. You, know, you guys... You do stupid things, and it just makes me laugh. You're all so silly. They they definitely have. They definitely have... Does that feel like nobody escapes hell? No, that's not nobody escapes hell. I thought I was, was going to say they definitely have nobody escapes hell, but they, they don't. Oh, there's a... I can grab this toolbox. Mm. You need to be careful when you interact with this quickly, because the amount of times I've grabbed a small health bottle or, like, the health bottle next to it and not meant to is ridiculous. All right, let's go unlock this door, too. We're going to unlock all the doors and maybe try and uh, pop them open, too. So if anyone needs to escape down, and we can, they are able to. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, my God, is he really trying? Yoink. Yep, that's me. I didn't mean to do that. I got trolled. I got trolled by the, by the health bottle. I said, I said, don't open up. What did I say? I literally said, don't open up the toolbox secret because you grab it. And I went to vault the barricade. We don't have what doesn't kill you, so we'll probably be max health when that runs out. Watch it, watch it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I grabbed the health points and they go to the barricade. That's so stupid. I love it. <laughs> you can't write that. They might be trying. Oh, someone's upstairs. Wait, someone's upstairs. Hopefully, Hitchhiker's not trapped the back door. If he has, we're going to be in a bit of trouble. But any any progress on this door will be good. Oh, he's got security pins on. Look at this maximum wow. proficiency. I don't mind if he comes and tries to uh, tries and hits me a few times. We do have what doesn't kill you, and we have our badge. So, oh my god, we did it! Oh my god, we actually did it! Wait, that's crazy! <gasps> no chicken, no chicken either! Oh my god, this is insane! I love it. Yes, the max proficiency came because now that's nobody escapes. So look at that forty percent difficulty. Oh, lovely! It's so rare that you're able to do that. I would usually give this to Connie to do, but we don't need to give this to Connie to do. Mm. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Because I've got high strength. I'm going to run for the generator. What a lot of people do is run straight for the battery like Connie did. But what the best thing you could do is go out the back and then round the front if the generator is here. Or go straight to the generator. Because then you can kick that bad boy off. Even if you get seen because they come out the front to cut you off, you can still well. And they have to stand there waiting to turn that back on. And most people that see the back gates open will go for the battery. They'll immediately run towards... I mean, I would as a family member. I'll run straight towards that battery thinking they're going to go there. And in actual fact, they haven't. And plus, as Leland, you have very high proficiency. But you also have very high strength. Look at this. 
Look at the strength. Oh, douche, douche, douche. And there you go. There you have it. There's always a bone. Well, more often than not, there's a bone pile here. Make sure to grab one and open this. So if you end up needing to fight a family member, you have something to fight them with. That's what I'd always suggest. There you go. Look, someone came out the front, I think. Oh, no, no. That's just inside. Okay, fair enough. Oh, GG's. Oh, Connie's escaped. Lovely, lovely. Oh, someone DC'd. No, oh, sissy DC'd. Ah, and look at the cook. <laughs> Cookie boy. Oh, he's so... <laughs> All right, that was a good game. Oh, my God. I would not have been able to do that with high proficiency. And I've had to try and jump out the front window, which is always a roulette on this map. But, by God. Whoever's upstairs distracted long enough for me to do that. Let's go. Shout out to whoever did that. GG's. All right, let's go. We are playing as Leland, and we are in on the slaughterhouse we're against a leatherface a johnny and a hitchhiker that's gonna be a rough combo for us to fight against no that's right though we're good we got this we got max proficiency leland we're gonna be fighting people like crazy he's coming around we're immediately gonna run through and go behind him here uh oh maybe not maybe not yeah he's going around lovely he probably looked for that cool gap nice we're gonna go back through and try and undo that now We can hear if he comes down this direction anyway. What we can do is do one bar, get off of it, look. Then, then the bar's gone down, and then we do another bar. And then we look again. And then we do the final bar like this. So that way, we're never going to get caught off guard. Which is great. We don't want to be caught off guard. Ah, let's go. Right, we do have a hitchhiker with a jolly. This could be quite rough. Um, someone, Okay, someone already woke up, Grandpa. Let's go ahead and go upstairs here then. I'm feeling quite confident about this game. I don't know why. Right, let's cut this down. You don't need to cut it down, but why not? Why not? Okay, maybe because they've seen Johnny and Hitchy, you've seen two people in the basement. They'll go to the basement. That, that bone pile was never there. That's a really good bone pile, by the way. Well, we have like a really good spot here. Oh my God. We could actually go through quite quickly here. Hopefully we can make it over to the side of the slaughterhouse quite quickly and we can undo this bad boy. Yes, look at this max proficiency. Oh, <laughs> this proficiency build on Leland is so silly. Look at it. How I'm convinced, like, perks are just there to help you survive, obviously. But I'm convinced, like, you could just run attributes, like, high attributes, and just succeed super, super well. You can be so successful. Let's chop this down. It's good to chop these down, I think. Even if it takes a little bit of time off of us undoing doors, it means that we can freely run through that area. We're not having to worry about it now. My God, I can't believe we managed to escape there so quick. We're also in a good position because if anyone comes and we can we can see that evidently not with anyone, we can just fight them if empowered. The other boy just checked that door, but no one's unlocked that door, man. I've unlocked the side door. Yes. Let's go. Oh, God. Leland with high proficiency. God damn, I could, I've started like crazy. Leland with high proficiency can do this quite well. He has the capability of doing this. Oh, let's go in and do this. Da, 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 da. Switch the camera angle so we can see that. Lovely, lovely. This means if they come over this direction, they're going to have to linger around this area to turn this battery back on. They have to wait for the cooldown to end as well of it being turned off. In some cases, it's better to go and do the gate first so you have immediate progress in the area, but a lot of times I just prefer... All right, you know what? I'm just going to bosh this open. I'm not really afraid if anyone comes this way, to be honest. Oh, no. Look at them. They all... <laughs> we just got so quick. Like, just... You can run proficiency on high proficiency on anyone, and I swear to God, it will work. Leland's just so much safer because if you get in a bad position, you can fight whoever comes that direction. Okay. No. Someone's this? definitely coming this way. Yeah, there he comes. There he comes, baby. Was oh, that Leather Boy? That is, in fact, Leather Boy. That is, in fact, Leather Boy. Let's stay a bit longer. I want to try and help out the teammates here. Ding, 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 I might have to barge him and get out, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to have to barge him and just get, get the hell out of here, I think. I'm going to have to do that. Because he can also turn on that battery now. I mean, I could run around this little bit here, but it's just too risky. <laughs> GG's, GG's. We've opened that entire area for, up for anyone that wants to go through there. Lovely. Mash that button. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Oh, my God. I'm running out of water. Please. Oh. All right, let's go. We're playing Linda behind on Nancy's house. Thank God. It's about time I got this house. I love playing Nancy's house. And I rarely get it anymore. It's like the game hates me. 
I'll tell you what, though. We will go ahead and grab... Did not have instant ref? We'll go ahead and grab some uh, tool picks. Oh, here he goes. Is he make, He's making his way around lovely. That means we can cut through here. They have a hitchhiker and a Johnny. Nice. Ah, he thought. He really thought. <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Oh, I thought he was going to overheat there. See you, leather boy. <laughs> the guy just runs off. If Hitchhiker's smart, Hitchhiker will trap the battery gate. And maybe he might leave it because he might collect some blood to go feed Grandpa or something. In which case, we can benefit from that. We'll go ahead and check, though. We'll open the door straight away. Go ahead and check where he's trapped because it could have been multiple different locations. We'll sit back here like this. I can hear him to my left. He's going, ha, ha. I'm the only one that's upstairs in a minute. It's always worth checking your points to see whether anyone else is upstairs. Oh, he didn't undo this. He didn't get this door. Oh, okay, nice. We might be able to get some points here, baby. It would have been better if I'd have got a bone scrap to bring up here because then I could have fought someone and then bodied the next person, but that's cool. That's cool. Nice. Let's close this damn door. God. There's a chicken there. I'm going to avoid that like the plague. <laughs> you kidding? I I feel like when I play run chicken builds, I never get that chicken there. That's wild. All right, let's go pick up uh, some more stuff. We are using proficiency on them, by the way. If you didn't notice, we're using max proficiency Leland. And just look how strong this is. It's big strong. We've been pretty much out the battery side now. I might go back in and help the rest. This would be a very quick game otherwise. I feel like most of these games, when I go max proficiency and rush, I've managed to escape so, so easily. No matter who the character is. But the game is designed... I feel like they designed the game to be rushed. You dis, you put yourself at a disadvantage if you don't rush out. That's what I've noticed. But anyway, let's go and uh, turn this bad boy off. Hitchhiker's not trapped any of this. Surprised me a bit. He might, he might have trapped, like, cool spaces and stuff, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I hear him. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna Ooh, I'm smash your boy, oh my guys. God. That might have been Hitchhiker in the basement. That's probably where he's gone. I don't know why he's done that, though. I'll tell you what, since we've already got this out, we're just going to bosh this open real quick like that. Nice. And then we'll open both gates for people so they can escape if they wish. Hey, Johnny Dog. How you doing, pal? Now, where did you go? Oh, don't you dare open that door. The thing is, him waiting here is really, really bad. Because I can just pop that open. I don't even know whether he saw me there. But if he was waiting for me to open that, that would have been so bad for him. Come on, burst through the gate, burst through the gate. See the battery, see the battery. Oh, it's undone, it's undone. No, he didn't, he didn't even check it. He didn't even see it. What's going on? Maybe he did. Maybe he knows. I want to go do more. Explorer more. Oh, oh. I need to wait till he leaves. Slide the door open at least. What's he doing? Ah, oh, there you go, there you go. Right, we'll go close that like that. We'll go have a little look where things are. The valve's not in there. Okay. Let's try to get the fuse off because if people can escape from the fuse, we're sitting pretty here. Help other people out because we managed to get out quite quick. That's the beauty of you being up, you doing this, is you can then assist other people in getting out. Oh, that was that was definitely Johnny. Okay, Johnny's definitely seen me here. I don't know why he's seen me here, or not seen me here. Why are you running? Hey, leave it out. Johnny's still following my footprints. Can I just say that he's definitely still following my footprints there? We'll run through here real quick. Avoid Grampy. Oh my god, the house is open. <clears throat> give me through. Yes, give me through, please. Oh, there you go. Slam that bad boy door. We've unlocked the battery all the way. So if if needed, people can go out the uh, battery. Oh, look at that. What a lovely time to be alive here. Oh, we've, we've all escaped. Wow, the house is all open. Wow, we did the entire battery and the house. And Danny's out too. Nice. GG's, GG's. Let's bash the button. Man, I love bashing that button in. A lot of you guys say I use macros. Like, again, I've only used macros for Final Fantasy XIV, and that was in-game macros. I just use pure raw wrist power, baby. <laughs> I'm never going to say that again. That was horrible to say. <laughs> uh, someone's going to take that out of context. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this. We've got a Johnny, a sissy, and a cook. So uh, we're going to have an interesting game here. Let's go ahead and open all these downstairs doors. When I, I'm running high proficiency on Leland, by the way, because it's it's just crazy. High proficiency on anyone, I'm convinced, make them so much better. And it's so much easier to play the game and escape. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and open all the doors because we have the capability to do so. 
obviously with this build, the only issue is you do run out of stamina fairly quickly. So you need to be cognizant of your stamina running out. Um, and co cognizant of your stamina at all times, really. Because if you're not, you're going to realize very quickly that you'll be out of stamina and then be in the open and just get killed. So it's not worth it. You need to be concentrating on that. And then well if you need to, because you have what doesn't kill you. So if they smack you down the well, it's okay. You'll get that back, baby. You'll get your health back. And you have okay toughness as Leland. You have like, I think we have like 26 or 28, so it's not awful. I'm not really worried about being seen here, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, that door's opened and lovely. Is that door? Oh my god. Okay, I'm a little bit worried now. He likes it when they run. Okay, he's he's trying to find my foot. I'm gonna barge him, get an early barge off. No hits on me, lovely. He can follow me up here, but I'm not really fussed about it. If he's on comms, fair enough. But yeah. Oh, he tried thinking, no. We'll try running run that direction. He will never know us. He'll never know where we are here. Surely not, right? This is risky where me just going? sitting here like You're this. Lost. Your headset. Okay, he's definitely got he's definitely tracking my footsteps. Yeah. I had a feeling. Okay, let's just use cool gaps then. Since he's been a smart guy. Okay, let's open this then. Far, fair enough, he's, he's quite far away, so we can just open this bad boy. We can do John Dog. Wait, what? Hello? Donny? Hello? But... <laughs> Donny! Are you okay? Are you okay, mate? Oh, we have Sissy on us. Okay, we can pop the fuse in, even if Sissy's beating us down. Sissy? Are they just ignoring me and trying to get someone else? To be fair, I used to do that. But it's an awful idea, because I can just do this. And then do this. And then, oh my god, there's so many reds. This is so troll. Maybe seven and two. And then five and eight. Oh my god. Are you alive? Oh, let's go. Yes, lovely, lovely, lovely. I shouldn't have run this way because old Grampy Boy's gonna. He's gonna dob me in. No. That's right. We can probably bash this door open just here or this lock real quick. And then try and open up a next area because we have so much of this. If someone can't get through. <laughs> Yeah. Back to the basement in time, or someone's blocking it and they can't get out for whatever reason. At least we have this contingency plan in place. Oh my god, there is literally no tool, like no engineer's toolbox in there. That's kind of sad. It's much too quiet. Okay, let's go. I could go into the tool shed, uh, the tool shed there, and pick up a, a tool pick, but I'm not going to. I'm, I'm literally just gonna grab two of these bad boys. I don't know if the cook can see me in here, but it doesn't matter if he can. Oh my god, he didn't. He didn't, even, he didn't even see me there. What, what a weirdo. Okay. All right, Johnny could definitely see me. Let's climb over this. Oh my God, turned off the fuse box. No. Okay. <laughs> I love the way Johnny just looks like. He knows he can't do anything here. He knows he can't. Wow, people are escaping like crazy. Okay. We'll pretend to run down and then we'll run back up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. He's feeling grumpy. We could actually, maybe, undo the door in time. We won't be obvious about it. What we'll do is we'll run here, and we won't do the door yet. We'll just sit here, because he might expect us to be in that area still. Wow, Julie, I think Julie's escaped the car battery, so... Let's go. We'll try and undo this door. door. We, we know we can get our car battery, but... Go in now. They're over here. Mmm. I'm doing that might have been a bad idea. <laughs> you don't make me do so, I'm on regret. Oh, he locked that door. Really? He locked that door? That's kind of crazy. We might be able to get this door unlocked in time before Cookie even makes it over to us. Or we can get two bars at least. It's a bit ambitious to get more than that, I think. No, no. Depends if he's got scout. He hasn't got scout. Let's go, baby. Let's crouch here for a bit. Now you listen. <laughs> Bam! Straight there, buddy. Eat that punk. Die! What we can do is run straight to this bit here. Oh, wow. He used to see me. Oh, he knew. He knew that I was going to do that. That conniving little man. You know what I can do here, though? Because they don't have a hitchhiker. And there's literally nothing they can do about it. 
Oh, Johnny's going to go downstairs to try and cut me off here. He went the wrong direction for one. <laughs> but uh, I don't even think he'd have managed to, uh, to stop it. I don't know. There's no, there's no tellings. Oh, well, we, we're out anyway. We're GG's. Look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. GG's.